I'm going to go over some of the rules with working with exponents. Um, <clears throat> so the first example here um, I'll have, let's say we have like the 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. And so if we have a number like 1.0, 0.032 meters and we multiply that by 10 to the 0 meters we still have 1.032 meters now if we have different exponents so let's say we have we'll use a variable this time 10 to the m times 10 to the n that's equal to 10 to the m plus n and so that's an additive property so in our example here Let's uh, do real numbers. We have 10 to the 5 times 10 to the negative 2. That equals 10 to the 5 plus that negative 2 which gives us 10 to the 3. Last one here. Um, let's say we have uh, 10 to the m over 10 to the n. That is equal to 10 to the m minus n. And so if we use our example again, let's use a different example. Let's say we have um, 10 to the 6 over 10 to the negative 1. So if we're trying to solve that, it is 10 to the 6 minus the negative 1, which gives us 10 to the 7. So if you want to go ahead and like just the different ways you can put like a little uh, asterisk or something by the three uh, different exponent properties we're going to use when we do unit conversion.